everybody for coming out this week. Obviously, uh, the turn of events uh, yesterday in Kansas City were rather horrific and tragic, and uh, we certainly offer our, our thoughts and prayers uh, to those that suffered and lost their lives. Uh, proud of the first responders and the citizens that tackled the, those individuals, the perpetrators. Uh, it's unfolding, so we're, we're going to reserve greater comment until the greater details emerge at that. That, that was rather on our, on our thoughts today. Um, but along the lines of crime, we did in the House tackle crime yet again. Uh, we passed a, a great crime bill that, that Representative Roberts, to my right, has championed last year, refined a little bit more this year. So I'm proud of the House of Representatives passing that bill, sending it over to the Senate, and, uh, and doing what we need to do there, because crime is obviously a problem in the state. So we've addressed that. We've also moved IP reform along. It's, it's coming out of committee, going to rules. We expect that to be on the calendar shortly. Um, and, and we worked uh, for government overreach. The eviction moratoriums that Representative Murphy championed uh, was, was a problem during COVID, and we didn't believe government had that overreach right, and so we're, uh, we've addressed that as well. And I've asked Representative Murphy to join me as well. Um, but he also has uh, a component um, we're really proud of. Uh, we saved a life this week. Uh, I, I don't know if anyone recalls here, but we passed a bill a few years ago for baby boxes. Putting baby boxes that the Representative Murphy can better articulate allows someone to, to put a baby that, you know, they want to have a different opportunity in life that, to turn the baby in with no questions asked. And that reaped its first results this last weekend. And, and so we're very proud of that. So happy to take any comments or questions. People who were the at talk. Uh, yesterday's uh, shooting in Kansas City, including some of your colleagues, Chiefs players, fans, have called for the state to enact stricter gun regulations. Do you have any regrets about the state's lax approach to guns? We are looking at that investigation as it's unfolding. Obviously, we're rather sorry for those who have lost their lives. They're heavily weighed on our on our shoulders as we as we saw what happened. And as that unfolds, we'll have greater comment. So the House voted against um, a lot you know, blocking minors from carrying guns openly last year. Should the House change that decision? Should I'm just going to go back to what I said a minute ago. This is an unfolding investigation. I'm going to reserve comment. Um, I, I, I would like you guys to focus on actually what we're accomplishing for the state of Missouri as an investigation is going on in Kansas City. We're not going to comment on what the investigation is, is developing yet. It's, it's premature. But what we've tackled in the House is crime. Representative Roberts is to my right. I think we should be proud of the crime bill that we passed out of the House this week. That's what we're working for. We're delivering good results for Missourians in the House of Representatives. And I'm proud of Lane Roberts' bill. He's to my right. If you have any questions on his bill, I'd ask some, some of those. Um, we've also moved IP reform, okay? The, the far left, the well-funded George Soros billionaires are coming into Missouri and overtly taking over our laws through constitutional initiative petition. We're addressing that. That's, gonna, that's coming out of committee. It's going to be on the calendar shortly. We've saved a life with the baby box. Uh, that, that is fantastic. That's what we're here to do, to protect life. We've also addressed government overreach with the eviction moratoriums. We've had a great week delivering for Missourians yet again in the House. I want to ask about IP. And the reason is because we're seeing the other side of the building take it up. And we're on, going to be on day three when they come back on Monday of debate. Are you still planning on moving your bill forward? Um, Absolutely. Okay. Even though the Senate says that it's pretty much their way or the highway? The Senate says that about everything, but they haven't even been in. We're working today. I mean, they gaveled out until Monday. Uh, our committees have been working. The House has proven year in and year out that the House works, okay? We are going to move yet again an IP bill, which will probably be the sixth or the seventh year in a row that we will have passed out an initiative petition constitutional reform package that we would love to see the Senate take up yet again. It's like a broken record. It's Groundhog Day. What, prefer, uh, what's the you, Republican plan for addressing crime? Could you be a little bit more specific about stuff that has been handled and then plans for future legislation? We, um, I'm going to let uh, Representative Roberts talk about the, the bill that we just passed out this week. And if you look through the docket, uh, we have other bills percolating through the system as well. But Representative Roberts passed a great bill this week. Is that a thing that so, Yes, Thank you. please. Uh, House Bill 1569 is a comprehensive crime bill. It, it, it's many, many elements to it, so it's difficult to talk about it as one piece of legislation. It deals with things like Blair's Law and Max's Law, some parole uh, changes, jurisdiction for vacating uh, public defenders, uh, and some juvenile provisions. 
it's, it's, try, it's an attempt to encompass a lot of different elements. Interestingly, the committee that came out of this, the Crime Prevention and Public Safety Committee, we've got like 35 bills that have already been referred to us. Uh, 20 of those bills have been heard. Uh, and so we're trying to move along a variety of things that affect crime and the, and the safety of our, of our communities. Um, it is difficult at times. And policing a free nation is difficult. So when we try to do things that, that uh, augment the efforts of our police agencies without treading on the rights of other people, it can be a real difficult balance. I know those police officers face that every single day. But then when the chips are down like they were yesterday, we expect them to come in and solve the problem. So I don't want to hamper them. I want to give them some good tools. That's what this crime bill does. Uh, and in particular, I think most people can understand Blair's Law, celebratory gunfire, uh, that bullet's going to come down somewhere. It just has to. Uh, and unfortunately, in this case, it took the life of a young girl. So that should never happen again. That is uh, in this crime bill. What has been the impediment of getting Blair's Law passed in the future? Uh, sorry, in the past. Well, I, I don't know exactly that there was an impediment to the law itself. Uh, that it, it was actually in Senate Bill 189 last year, which, as you know, the governor vetoed. He expressed his support for that particular law, but there were some elements in the bill that came out of the Senate that he didn't like, and I don't blame him. I wasn't too thrilled with them myself. Uh, the House Bill 1569 contains virtually all of the elements of 189, uh, last year's Senate bill, without those provisions. So you have a bill that addresses um, what happens in celebratory gunfire. What are you intending to do about people who engage in intentional gunfire? Well, let me, let me, he passed his great bill this week. Uh, we will work on the unfolding events in Kansas City, but I believe Kansas City already has some ordinance on the line uh, in the books that should have prevented what happened. Laws alone don't solve the problem, okay? So we will evaluate the investigation as it unfolds and address that. But we're not going to dwell on Kansas City today. We're going to be very proud of Representative Roberts and his bill. I also want to draw attention to Representative McGaw, who's worked tirelessly on IP reform to bring in Representative Black and Representative Lewis, who worked together to, to put an IP package together this year, if you have any questions of that. Can I have another question for Representative Roberts? One of the provisions that wasn't included this year was uh, restitution for people who were wrongfully convicted and would provide that. That was one of the reasons Parson vetoed the bill. Is that something that you're interested in looking at as like a standalone bill or legislation regarding that? It is not something that I intend to introduce, no. Why not? It just, I, I'm more in, in you know, concerned about crime and the effect on people's daily lives. That's another issue entirely. Uh, I'm going to leave that to folks who know more about it than I do. Speaker Parker, uh, Missouri law prevents like local cities, municipalities from enacting stricter gun regulations. Why? Yeah, we're moving on. I already addressed that. What issue. ordinance? Why, 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 should, why should Kansas City not We're be done here. Thank you.